last chapter we covered file format to understand how the new line delimiter json data files work using strip outer array parameters alongside strip null values date time format compression parameters and their default values we did not cover allow duplicate parameter and what is the role it plays when it comes to json data files this is the extension of the previous chapter and we are going to talk about allow duplicate parameter in file format and its behavior when it comes to json files this chapter covers following topics can duplicate object attribute be loaded and copied into snowflake tables if yes then how snowflake behave when copy command is executed which value is retained and which value is discarded when there are duplicate object attributes any specific mechanism to tell snowflake that this particular duplicate value should be considered during the load time what happens if you have more than two or three duplicate object attributes does it change the snowflake's copy behavior this is a complete hands on chapter so stay tuned until the end and if you want to practice those sql statement after watching this video then i would also share the link where you can download the sql script and the data files Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this Handling JSON Data in Snowflake playlist for true data professionals like you. This is a complete playlist to cover JSON file handling in Snowflake. Link for all the chapters can be found in the description section or click above in the information icon. So let's start with chapter 8 How Snowflake handles duplicate key attributes during copy command. Let's quickly revisit the file format parameters for JSON data file alongside their must and optional parameters. And we will see the behavior of allow duplicate parameter, which is set to false by default when file formats are created. Let's understand how the duplicate object attribute looks like. If you see the valid employee JSON object on the left side of the screen, there is no duplicate attribute for the individual employee object. On the other hand, we have keys which are duplicate for individual employee object and when I added them and the JSON becomes automatically invalid JSON. When we talk about duplicate object attribute, it primarily works with a key value based JSON, not with an array because array does not have any key. So let's go and start practicing them. So here I am in my snow site web UI and this is a worksheet called deduplication. So I am going to create a file format called JSON file format duplicate and allow duplicate parameters is taking a default value called false. This can go true and we would see if we make it true what happens. Before I really apply this file format during the copy command, let me create a table called emp duplicate. Now I am going to place a file called emp duplicate.json and before that let's understand how this JSON file looks like. This is the employee JSON file and if you pay attention to this JSON file, the first employee Alexander is having two date of birth entries, second employee is having two city of birth entries and the third employee is having two IT professional entries. So what we noticed for each of this object, I have a duplicate keys, each of this key is having a different value. If I have to process this file, obviously my JSON editor is indicating that this is an invalid format and this cannot be validated as a JSON file. But I am going to load this file into my Snowflake environment. Let's see what happens. So emp duplicate.json file uploaded into the user location. Let's check it. Yes, I have the employee duplicate.json file available. Now before I run the copy command, let me check the table content. I do not have any data. Now I am going to run this copy command which is taking the file format JSON FF duplicate and JSON FF duplicate does not allow any duplicate. So let's run this copy command. Let me quickly create the file format. And let's describe it. So if you look into this allow duplicate is false, which is the default value. Now let me rerun this copy command. So all the three rows failed. 
it clearly says the error parsing json duplicate object attribute date of birth and if i copy this query id so this is my validate table function let me copy paste the query id make sure that this query id should belong to your copy command and not to any other command here it is clearly saying my date of birth city of birth and it profession these are the three element which are duplicate and that's why snowflake cannot process the data and that is also evident from this file here date of birth city of birth and it profession they are duplicate entries so if i have to really make it work what i have to do i have to go and change this parameter to true and let me recreate this file format we can also run the alter statement now let me describe it i can see my allow duplicate value is set to true no data available in the mp duplicate table now let me rerun this copy command and this time i will give force equals to true now this time all the three rows loaded successfully let's see how do they look like which value for those duplicate items have been considered so for the first employee 1996 is considered but if you look into the employee object from the json file it is 1995 okay for the second employee where city of birth was duplicate let's see which one has been considered here it is rome however in json file it is athens and for the third employee it profession was duplicate and snowflake developer is considered the json file it is python developer followed by snowflake developer so as per the snowflake documentation if there is any duplicate key when it comes to key value pair the last entry should be considered and all other previous entries will be discarded automatically quickly simulate the another scenario when i have more than two duplicate item in a json file this is my multiple duplicate worksheet and i am going to first truncate my table let's describe the file format where my allow duplicate equals to true so my allow duplicate equals to true i have extended the same employee object this time instead of having one duplicate item i have many duplicate item for each employee object and i have more than two entries in some of the cases so for a first employee i have a three date of birth two it profession for the second employee i have i am still keeping same no changes and for the third employee i am having multiple names multiple date of birth and multiple cities and multiple it profession okay so let's upload this file and let's try to run the copy command using allow duplicate file format parameters equals to true and see which value is considered so this is my put command so name of the file is multiple duplicate json and it is being placed in user stage location let's run the list command i can see my file is available now make sure that we do not have any record into employee duplicate table yes i am going to run exactly the same command no changes and making sure that force equals to true here it is multiple duplicate json and table name is emp duplicate this time two rows loaded and one have seen an issue uh, missing comma let's run the select statement to see how the data looks like so second and third employee data got loaded but the first employee having an issue if you look into the third employee lars the snowflake developer has been selected 1990 has been selected and this name has been selected so it is true that when there are duplicate items snowflake consider the last entry as the only entry while loading the json data into a table what happens when we try to load the same data using a parse json and insert statement does it work and that's what we are going to explore in this part of the video this is my third worksheet and i am going to create a table called emp table which has one field emp json of variant data type let's insert first record using parse json function and it is just a key value pair let's see if it works or not it worked as expected i am going to insert another json record however 
in this JSON record, I have two keys and these keys are duplicate. So let's see what happens. So it clearly says it fails to parse the JSON and duplicate object attributes key one at position 26. In a real life, we deal with a very complex and nested JSON. And if there are any duplicate object attribute, it is hard to figure it out. Where is that duplicate object attribute, especially when you have a multiple duplicate item inside your JSON. This is my another insert statement where I have a three employee, employee one, employee two, and employee three. And again, these are the duplicate attributes. So let me run this insert operation. Now again, it says the date of birth on line number six is duplicate and this is the duplicate item. So all the employees are having duplicate object attributes. The first one is having date of birth. Second one is having city of birth and third one is having IT profession. So the problem with this error, it only indicates the first instance of the duplicate. It does not go to the second employee and the third employee and then it makes your life little hard. Let's say you have a very deep nested JSON structure and there are duplicate items. What is the best mechanism to debug it? Because sometimes this large JSON cannot be loaded even in JSON visualizer. And we would like to know how this JSON objects can be validated without spending too much of effort. So here I am going to create a table called EMP text table. The field is varchar, which does not take more than 16 MB of data. So let me create this table. Now I am going to insert exactly the same JSON what we have used earlier. So this is a big JSON file. So it says three rows inserted looks good because it is a varchar. So there is no issue. Let's quickly validate that. So I can see total three records are inserted and they are all exactly the same thing. I have used the same duplicate item for simulation. Now I can run insert statement using the select statement through the parse JSON. So I can really validate which all rows failed for what reason. So it says IT profession is a duplicate. So this message is also not good enough to really understand what has gone wrong. If I go to the query profile, let's see what happens. So the query profile also doesn't say because it has scanned followed by insert and followed by the result. So when you have a JSON file, which has a lot of duplicate, the best way to make sure that the JSON file duplicate item works is running a copy command from the stage location. Last eight chapters in this playlist has already covered many core concepts about JSON processing in the Snowflake. And we also have covered some of the important functions like parse JSON in our first chapter, JSON extract path and check JSON in our chapter four, where we process complex JSON structure. Next chapters will focus more on supporting JSON function provided by Snowflake and what value they bring, when to use them and when not to use them. So continue to watch next few chapters as well as this space. There are many more interesting topics about Snowflake and Snowflake certification. And if you are interested to learn more, you can go to my playlist section and explore all of them. Thank you for watching. Keep learning and keep growing.